we have some big news in the managerial front. Um, Thomas Tuchel, the PSG manager, has been sacked, um, which is kind of sad for him, I guess. And again, sacked on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, depending on where you celebrate stuff, is pretty bleak. And considering that PSG are, what, third in Ligue 1? And they're still in the Champions League. They finished top of our group, Man United, which we got knocked out in, right? We finished third or fourth, whatever it was. Um, it's probably a, uh, it's probably, there's probably some unfortunateness attached to it. He's probably a bit unlucky. But also, if you read between the lines and you believe the rumors, um, Thomas Tuchel was never Leonardo's guy. I think he came in prior to Leonardo's appointment as the sporting director there at PSG. Um, they also don't get along, which doesn't help. Supposedly, they don't talk. They're not even on speaking terms, which is doesn't make any sense whatsoever, right? Especially in the continent. Um, directors of football are like the middleman for the manager. They're like the person that the manager goes to kind of, you know, as a shoulder to lean on to kind of persuade the board to give him more funds or to maybe, you know, help with the narrative in the press, whatever it may be. But usually there's um, a very uh cordial almost cooperative relationship between directors of football wherever they are and the managers um the fact that they don't talk to each other is probably a, some sending some big alarm bells and if anything in thomas Tuchel's position he probably needed to be undeniable to make sure he doesn't get sacked he probably needed to win the champions league last season or look incredibly strong this season which they did to be honest or just be topping the league arm uh, you know by a real clear distance margin but the fact that they've lost a few games in league uh, the fact that they're third at the moment again only one point off the top you know the league is only you know the it's also it's kind of being crammed in this year so there's always a room for a lot of positions to change as the season progresses. and you would imagine PSG having the players that they have they will inevitably climb up in the league but it does show some ambition I think in terms of what PSG are trying to do because if it, you know in, in from what we've kind of heard of this new regime they've essentially bought PSG not just to you know be uh, domestic champions because that's always going to happen because they're going to outspend their competition and probably going to hire the best coaches which is inevitably a good recipe to win titles but they wanted to win the biggest one right the one that's going to add real prestige to the PSG name or the PSG brand as the Champions League which has sort of evaded them the last few seasons especially even with the acquisitions of players like Mbappe and Neymar. So it makes sense that long term, they're probably thinking, hey, if this guy isn't all immediate, they're probably thinking this guy is never going to win the Champions League. He'd had a couple of goes at it. He hasn't really come close. So we need to make some sort of change. And this is news here from Sky Sports. Thomas Tuchel sacked by Paris Saint-Germain. It says Thomas Tuchel has been sacked by the Paris Saint-Germain. Um, according to Sky Germany, Tuchel joined the club at the beginning of 2018-2019 season, winning back-to-back -back league titles, right? As well as the Cop de France and the Cop de Ligue in 2020. So, again, people like to... Because... Not people like to say... Some people would like to suggest that because Pochino hasn't won anything, that it's somehow... Um, you know, it omits him from the conversation to be United coach, but then Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, because he's won back-to-back -back titles at Molde, Norwegian league, which is, you know, I would even say, is it in the top five leagues in Europe? Probably not. Um, that that is somehow makes him a better um, candidate when the reality of it is at the top clubs, it's really about uh, what have you done for me lately? No one really cares about your past achievements because like I said, he won the league the previous season before last then he wins it again and he's still under pressure. He doesn't obviously win the Champions League, so he's still under pressure. He wins, you know, the um, I guess the, their version of the FA Cup and the League Cup and he still doesn't, you know, it still doesn't give him any sort of uh, guarantees or buy him any time for the future. It's what have you done for me lately? So if I didn't this season, some United fans are turning around after United finished trophyless, let's go for bid, but if that happens... I think United, some United fans are well within their rights to suggest he should be fired. Especially if we don't win the league and we don't win any cups in the season, that will be a failure. But, in, you know, in other people's eyes, they're just hell-bent on this idea of Oli in, Oli in, which is a really bizarre thing because you'd want the club to be successful, not the, the manager. But, hey, what can you do? Continues. PSG are currently third in Ligue 1, a point behind leaders Lyon, and have lost four of the 17 games this season. They topped their group of the Champions League and are ahead of Ripple Leipzig and Manchester United and will face Barcelona in the last 16 competitions. So again, it's a very gutsy, bold move and probably kind of reminds you of what Chelsea used to do back in the day, right? They just sack managers um, left, right and centre when they didn't feel like it was going well. So maybe it's a sign of a top club. Maybe it's a sign of a club doing be a bit knee-jerk or maybe it's just a manager who's 
probably a bit overrated maybe coming to the end of his tenure because I'm I'm a, I'm one of those people that would say um Tucho is good but not as good as the clubs that he's sort of or not as good as his sort of reputation precedes him I would say in that regard anyway it continues um Tucho's part uh, yeah comes after four months after he guided the club to the first Champions League final where they lost to Bayern Munich right the German replaced Una Emery on a two-year contract in June 2018 and signed an extension last May, which would have seen him stay in Paris until the end of the current campaign. Um, however, in October, there was a public fallout over player recruitment with the club sporting director, Leonardo, as I mentioned. Tuchel said, we lose too many players on free transfers. It's too much. We cannot ask the squad and the same thing as we did last season. The following day, Leonardo voices disapproval of Tuchel's comments saying, you have to respect the people above you. I don't like his comments. The club didn't like them either. Jesus Christ. We have to understand the moment we're going through. If someone is not happy, it's easy. We can talk. But if you decide to stay, you have to respect the people above you. They beat Strasbourg 4-0 in the league on Wednesday night and are next in the nation again, action against Sedentia on January 6th. And of course, who will be next manager? We know who that's going to be because it's basically been confirmed. On the next screen here, we have Mauricio Pochettino set to take over at PSG after Thomas Tuchel was sacked. And this is courtesy of Fabrizio Romano, you know, the here we go guy. He says the following Michel Pochettino is set to replace Thomas Tuchel at Paris Saint Germain head coach in the coming hours after the German was sacked on Thursday with a club that have been camp champions seven of the past eight seasons, sitting third in Ligue 1. Pochettino has reached an agreement with PSG to take over as their new manager with only a few deals to be ironed out before his appointment is confirmed the Argentinian who has been out of football since leaving Tottenham in January sorry leaving Tottenham in November 2019 is thought to be very keen to take over the Qatar and club so I guess there are fans like myself who are somewhat disappointed because you would have hoped Pochettino would be managing United um there are obviously fans who you know never wanted Pochettino and always wanted the all the experiment to work and so far um the recent form that we've had the fact that you know even though we've got a lot of Champions League I think the league form and the cup form in the league cup has been pretty decent we're into the semi-finals now against Man City I'm of the assumption or I'm, I'm of the thinking that if they didn't sack him when he got knocked out of the Champions League, because in some big clubs, that's a sackable offence. If that's not the case, then you just have to stay with him until the end of the season. And I think considering the form that we have now, considering the mood of the club, considering the Pogba situation's kind of been settled for the most part, considering we have um, Amadou Diallo coming in in January, we have this um, Ecuadorian kid who looks very promising, probably going to go out on loan. We have Van der Beek who still needs to kick on in the next year. Um, you know, of course, um, people like Cavani are going to come into just a bit, a bit more of match sharpness and fitness in the next few months. It probably he probably does deserve to see out the season at the very least. Now, if the season gets seen now, and you know, for the most part, we end up trophyless and outside of the top two, top three, whatever in the Premier League, then it's you're allowed to ask the question if his position should be considered. And I think it should at that case, especially if your long-term goal is to win the Premier League. And I think, unfortunately, for us, we're going to have to gamble the manager because I think the Pochettino experiment wouldn't have been a gamble because you know what you can do in the Premier League. Well, you know, you've seen what he's done at Southampton. You've seen what he's done at Tottenham with, you know, again, with limited resources. And he was able to essentially take Tottenham to the final, which they probably should have won. But still, the fact that he did it with Tottenham was a big achievement. And I think we'll probably see how big of an achievement it, it is because um, in hindsight, or no, yeah, I think we'll, we'll probably see what a big achievement Pochettino did at Tottenham once the Mourinho tenure is over. If Mourinho can't get anything out of this team, if he can't squeeze out one trophy, um, one very high league position finish, then we would know that Pochettino really worked miracles in his team going forward because I think Mourinho's been given essentially the freedom of of Spurs to do exactly what he pleases to mould the team and the club in his sort of image, which Pochettino got as well, don't get me wrong, but there is an added onus, I feel like, at the boardroom level at Tottenham to give Mourinho whatever he wants to ensure that they get a trophy in that cabinet because it's going to add, again, to their overall brand and what they want to do going in the future. So... I'm disappointed that Pochettino's going to PSG, but again, on his side, I can understand it. He's a former player. Um, he's been out of football since 2019, if you believe what Dunga Castle's been saying. He's very antsy about getting back into football. Now that he's gardening the thing is over, because I think Tottenham had a little 
a clause in the contract that basically meant he couldn't manage until a certain period had run out if he wanted to get a compensation. Now that contract is up, he's obviously able to take jobs now. He just wants to get back involved. You saw his appearance at Sky Sports News out of the blue. It was a bit of an indirect um, hint, hint, and reminder that he's still alive. So I think it's perfectly set up for him. And again, the, the French league isn't the most strenuous league in the world. Um, the fact that we have all the resources will help him. The fact that he's a better coach than a lot of the coaches out there in terms of, you know, I think if you give good coaches who are able to make shit players good, he's going to do wonderful things with very talented players, right? You would assume so. Um, so it's good to see that. Um, but then again, pressure is also going to be on there, on him because you're at, you know, you're at PSG. You, you're kind of expected to win the league with finishing seconds of failure, right? You even saw it. Um, Thomas Tuchel went back-to-back league titles and he still got fired even though he essentially knocked out United from that Champions League group. So there is a lot of pressure at, at, at PSG and it seems like if he doesn't win the Champions League, it'll be a failure as well at, at PSG. I think personally it'll be a success because at least you'll be able to shut up the haters with the whole no, no no trophy. But in terms of his tenure and his sort of legacy at PSG, he will need to win a Champions League to make that era or to make that tenure, um, you know, make sense or to live long in the memory and to justify position, justify his reputation in football in general going forward. But it's a very odd situation, I think, because um, if you're a United fan, you'll be like, why do we have to be reactive? Why do we have to wait for us to like be in the outside the top four, knocked out of the Champions League, playing very poorly, uh, players clearly not playing for the coach, for us to then make a change as a, for as a manager? Why can't we just make it? Um, of course, it's never going to happen with United because, again, I think we have to recognise that um, there's a lot of people that are going to be to blame for it if Solskjaer does you know, gets fired. Edward Wood's going to be under the microscope again. The Glades are going to be under the microscope again. They don't want that attention. So they'd much rather, you know, l let him stay in front of the cameras. Obviously, the results are beneficial. So they're insulating the people at the boardroom some level. But I'm hoping this recent form isn't going to um, take our eyes away from the prize and isn't going to make people think that we don't need a sporting director. We don't need, um, you know, Edward to get out of the football decisions. We don't need maybe to relook at how coaching staff is set up, our injury prevention team, whatever it may be. There's things that we need to look at as a team overall, our play recruitment that needs to be definitely looked at that I'd hope that this recent form isn't going to somehow distract us from. Um, da, 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 da. it continues here so it says uh, Tunisio paid the price for a slow start in Liga, where PSG have four defeats in the first 17 games and are a point behind Lyon the leaders and Lille the 47 year old departs after a 4-0 home win over Stragasburg so over the weekend he won 4-0 and he still gets sacked on Christmas Eve on Wednesday with PSG points director Leonardo first sounding out Pochettino representative early this week in his post match press conference on Wednesday Tunisio addressed comments made in an interview in German TV Sport 1 he said um, Tuchel was quite as saying he felt more like a sports politician than a coach in his first year at PSG but insisted that the quote was an accurate translation of a light-hearted comment the former Dortmund manager was appointed head coach at Parc des Princes in June 18th replacing Una Emery Tuchel won the league titles in France completing domestic treble last season and in August this year he led PSG to their first ever Champions League final which they lost 1-0 to Bayern Munich again pretty decent uh, CV and record of course maybe as a team they don't play that great football team selection substitutions um, player acquisitions have been a bit terrible going forward but it's not like he's a bum you know so interested to see what's going happening going forward um, it, it seems like you know we're going to have to you know through richer or poorer we're going to have to just stick with Oli for the long long term I think unless is I think unless we end up in an Arsenal relegation scrap there's no point there's no way I see us ever sacking Oli on social I think now with this news which again I think is both beneficial for the club and maybe for him personally as a manager but I think it's also concerning that we are kind of placing all our faith again in one coach and not creating a structure around him that's going to allow anyone to succeed because when he leaves you know you'd, you'd hope we'd have football directors in place before the, his tenure comes to an end so that when you do hire somebody else 
we have a structure and a system in place that they can succeed in. Whereas if Solskjaer leaves now, what do we do then? We start again from scratch, you know what I mean? That's the issue that we have here going forward. So it's less about an Oli situation. So it's about Oli and it's more so about the club overall and the fan base, like, you know, lowering of expectations and just the lack of willingness to do what's needed in order to kind of get to the top. That ruthless edge, we don't seem to have it as these other big clubs do. That's the thing that I'm kind of spotting here going forward. Um, but hey, and again, you know, Michel Pochettino has been sounded out by United. If you, you know, the, you can like what you, you can like it or not, but there were, when Solskjaer was going through that tough period or we were going through a tough period of form, um, you know, in the middle of the or beginning of the season, there were suggestions that Pochettino was being um, sounded out. Would he like to manage United, right? Now he's obviously going to maybe take over at PSG. That's the sort of stature or caliber of manager that he's um, playing at, or that's the level that he's sort of managing at. Clubs at those levels are coming to him and saying, hey, we want you to manage our club. The question is for the Oli, Oli in crowd, what sort of level club would Oli get once he gets fired or leaves United? What level do you think he's going to go at? Will it be in the Premier League even? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see.